Hello everyone, Pat here, and some time ago I traded into the Taurus 605. It was such a good trade that I just couldn't turn it down. It was one of those deals where it's like, hey, I'll take it, I'll try it. If I like it, then I can keep it or I can just send it on its way. Well, I wound up shooting it, enjoying it, and I have carried it so extensively that my carry Glock thinks that I'm dead. It, it thinks that the safe is going to open one day and my kids are going to sell it for half price. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to go and uh, show you what, the, how I carry the 605, the holsters that I use, the ammo that I use, and the modifications that I have made to the little pistol. And I believe that they have made it better. This will also apply to the Taurus 856, the 85, any of those Taurus small frame revolvers. So let me go ahead and show you over here on the tailgate. Okay, guys. So the first holster I was using was this DeSantis. This thing right here was $22.99 at the little store. I don't know if they were just price gouging. I haven't checked the prices online to see if that was indicative of it, but this was $22.99 plus tax, so almost $25. Now this one works and it works good. It's got these little dimples. That little bat wing keeps it straight up in the pocket. It doesn't turn, the gun stays upward and presented to you. This is cool, but the holster that I found that I like better is this Allen Double Zero? It is the Spiderweb holster, and you can see this six ninety nine. All right, so for six ninety nine, you cannot pull the trigger. I mean, I have set and worked it. You cannot get that trigger to pull whatsoever. A lot of guys just stick a revolver in their front pocket, and that spooks me. For six ninety nine, this keeps the gun upright. It keeps it comfortable and safe. And if you shot yourself in the foot. Let's say that you shot yourself in the shoe and your foot wasn't even in the shoe. You can't replace the shoe for $6.99, let alone fix a bullet hole in your shoe or your kneecap. So this right here keeps you out of the news. <laughs> and it just works. It works well. Okay, so you probably can't even see it. Right here in this pocket. Right there it is. Now, the elephant in the room. I'm sure you can see these VZ grips. This is the VZ Operator 2s in Hyena Brown. Now, one of my first complaints was about this rubber grip. Now, the rubber grip just, it wouldn't slide, and it just felt like it was ripping your hand. You know, a 357 Snubby is trying to give you carpal tunnel, trying to give you arthritis. It's trying to break your freaking wrist. But this rubber grip, like I said, wouldn't slide, and it just felt like it was tearing the skin. So now you're probably like, Pat? It makes no sense that you got G10. G10 is very abrasive. Yes, it is when it's brand new and it's fresh. What I did was I actually, it only took 15 rounds. If you take you a good, clean piece of sandpaper and you shoot it, and you can identify the hot, or the, well, hot spots, rough spots. The first hot spot that I noticed was right back here. Dang, chicken's going crazy. It was right back here. And it was so abrasive that it naturally hurt with 357 Magnum loads. But over a course of 15 rounds, I took that sandpaper and I sat there and I rubbed it until I took the ridges right there off the top of it. It didn't affect the looks of it whatsoever. And now those hot spots are gone. This actually is more comfortable than the factory rubber. And it looks great too. So now I did bob the hammer that was shown in a previous video and basically with that hammer going this thing's coming out of the holster coming out of the pocket there are no snags I mean there is just no snag whatsoever with that possibilities gone and I don't shoot single action anyway so I don't need to cock it, it doesn't bother me and I also did another video where I changed the finish I'll show you a before and then now here is the finish. That dull gray went away and this thing is just slick. So basically, excluding taxes, I've got less than $400 here. So ba just to, to keep things across the board, across the nation the same, there is less than $400 here. And I think that is just an awesome little carry package. It's a great little deal. Throw a little bit of nail polish right there on the front sight. Taurus has really surprised me and really blown my mind with this. The carry ammo. You can see these micro HSTs. I probably should have filmed it. I don't know why I didn't. It would have been a pretty good video. 
YouTube normally squashes my ballistic gel videos. But these are the HSTs that I carry. I had shot some HSTs in a previous video. I'm on my third box of these. I probably should have found some kind of better price, but my third box of these HSTs because they are very good for these little short revolvers. It's a neat looking case. It looks like an inverted wad cutter, but there's a hollow point in there. I got 12 to 13 inches out of this. I actually got 12 to 13 inches out of the little Smith & Wesson 327 little snubby that I had shot too. These two did come out of that gun. Offers perfect performance. And you may ask me, well, you're 357 capable. Why are you shooting 38s? Well, I'd rather just shoot the 38s because if you have to shoot the gun defensively and the police show up, you ain't going to be able to talk to them because a 357 has got so much bark out of a short barrel, you'll be deaf for two days. <laughs> but anyway, this right here is the perfect little carry setup. HSTs, five of those, this little gun, that little holster, front pocket. Some East Eddie Wall free range chickens. They're always here for emotional support. <laughs> All right, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed my little video. I know that I'm definitely enjoying the little Taurus. This thing is very much rock and roll. I've got Smith & Wessons in the safe, but this one right here for the money, it's awesome. I'd rather just keep my Smith & Wessons nice and then just put all the wear and tear on this one while I can. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Just hit that, turn on the bell so you don't miss any videos. If you'd like to help with channel expenses, I have a Patreon account in my About page. But the most important thing is I hope you have a wonderful day. We will see you next video.